last week, Brielle and I, we made a cake from scratch, just the two of us. Basically, she did a lot of the work, and I pulled up a recipe. It was really good. I actually took a little tiny nimble and, like, tasted it for a few minutes before I spit it out, because I was like, oh, I don't want that in my stomach, but I just wanted to taste it. I didn't have any ill effects from it, so we're good. Um, but yeah, no, we, we had fun. It was a good mom's eating dollar time, so, yeah. Okay, real. It was really fun to see this. I like the butterfly pattern. Um, Who made it? Me and mommy helped me. Uh, right. What kind of cake is it? A chocolate butterfly cake. Is it good? Yeah. How good? good. You ready to eat it? I would like to eat a nice big slice of the wing. <laughs> Cut it? Yeah. A nice big slice of the wing. Okay, everybody going to get the first piece? I like a big slice of the wing. Go ahead and put it on your plate. I want a whole wing. There you go. A whole wing, please. Okay. Are you a cat baby? Did you make a mess of yourself? <laughs> All the snow melt and like just how sunny and bright it's been. I've been like going to do out there and go, and all at once, one day, it's spring. Yeah. I was going to do that. So for Isaac called that day while I was outside and I was about to do it and all of a sudden he called. Sorry. Missed the opportunity, but it like thawed within like a few days. Um, I think the first few days of last week. So it was crazy. But all that flooding got into the house like one of the house so that pump kept pumping and pumping and pumping <laughs> finally it got it far enough away from the house it didn't come back <laughs> but it was crazy i was like oh my this is what happens when snow melts so fast <laughs> the water can't even get away from the house fast enough flooding here it is chocolate honey syrup <clears throat> i take a little bit of vanilla some honey, some chocolate, and salt mixed together. It's kind of like my own recipe. I just realized, like, I'm trying to put half. Half honey, half cocoa powder. Half cocoa powder. Eh, about three teaspoons of vanilla in that mix. Yeah, that was a pretty good amount. I used almost the whole, this jar. This was full of honey. And I didn't use all of it. I used about... I had about a little bit left, which I put into my other jar, so I could use this as a chocolate syrup. But we like our chocolate syrup, so. I've been doing it in like little jars, like little dishes like this. And the only problem is, it gets used up so fast. We like that. There you have it. Chocolate syrup. So I would say this is a 40 ounce. So I probably use like more like uh, 36 ounces. Plus an eight ounces of cocoa powder, and then I just put like about three tablespoons of vanilla, and about a tablespoon, not a tablespoon, a teaspoon, a teaspoon of vanilla, and about a teaspoon of salt in case anybody wants to drink it. But I just add this to hot milk, mm, we hot chocolate. But you can add it like you would chocolate syrup. So perfect. So here's mine. Ooh, yummy. Mmm, very good. We're making meatloaf today in little tiny pans. So at first I am going to take and I'm going to add some seasonings together. I added some Arbel de Provence, you can see that, and some paprika, and I added some garlic and onion powder, some pink salt. And then, um, oh, dried tomatoes. I dried these out myself and then I grind them up into little pieces. You can 
can see all that. So they make a really good flavor. I like it. Um, so I put those together and I mix them up and then I separate it in half. Two eggs, almond flour, the beef, just put it all in there, you know. And mix it by hand, because I like mixing by hand. So it's off the sink to wash. Back to fill the pan. with oatmeal this time instead of almond flour, so. work ready for the oven aren't they adorable they're gonna be so cute i haven't shown this is my spice drawer i actually made like a frame there's a wooden frame underneath this um goes around in the right shape and then um there's a gap of course which i kind of liked because i was like i put all these little the shaker tops which i don't hardly ever use and then i painted this since i like, accidentally cut the wrong side this had like all sorts of marks on it so i actually like it painted better it looks really nice and it kind of looks like it belongs there but this drawer doesn't stay shut and I need to like get a magnet or something something to make us stay closed and I use the chalk for these this this is our onion powder and our garlic powder and there's our salt and these ones we use all the time and that's why you can't see what they're written on but we know what's in there so we don't really worry about it anymore <laughs> since we moved in we've run out of Italian seasoning so but I love this stuff and I like making my own spice mixture oh I love a good pumpkin spice so good Anyways, so that's my seasoning drawer. Week, I'm hoping to do a six month update tour how of the house. And so if you wanna see that, stick around next week and don't forget to subscribe so that you will know um, when that's up. This should be fun. I'm excited. I'm kinda hoping that we get the rest of the drywall up before then, but you'll have to find out. Don't forget to check out my video about how we bought the house um it's no longer homeless check it out i'll try and put it in the video description so that you can find it really easily and watch it so that way when next week when you see the video of the six month update tour house you can see how much we've done and how much it's changed and i just feel like sometimes this house is a mansion and it should be kind of interesting as we start getting to move into the rest of the house i'm excited we'll see Did you eat your whole plate of food? Oh my goodness, was it good? Yeah. Did you get extra mashed potatoes? <laughs> he doesn't want his food stolen from him. He's hungry. Are you hungry? Yeah. Did you finish your mashed potatoes? No, Daddy ate all the mashed potatoes. stuck my finger in it, and I also had one for full, but I didn't. So did you eat your broccoli? Um, I don't want any more broccoli. I'm full up to here. And did Raphael eat more food than you? Oh, no. Because he's got more teeth than she does. <laughs> <laughs> Aunt Heidi asked if you uh, can eat anything right now without those so missing so many teeth. <clears throat> I just kind of use these teeth. I'll take the broccoli and I'll go, no, no.
<laughs> oh my. What are we gonna do with you? Bye, bye. You don't know either. Just... And how much food have you eaten? Did you finish your plate and then have more mashed potatoes? Did you eat more than Raphael? You've eaten more than Raphael. I've given you another big pile of mashed potatoes. Brilla's showing some broccoli. <laughs> And then Raphael got a little bit more mashed potatoes, but he ate that whole meatloaf all by himself. No help from Daddy. I thought Daddy would end up having to help him. But we sure do like our meatloaf with homemade ketchup on it, don't we? That was good. The ketchup gave it a flavor. A flavor? A flavor? Uh, was it a flavor? Uh, tomatoes. Yeah. Daddy and Mommy just kind of winged that recipe yeah. today. We didn't know what we were doing. Turned out pretty good? Yes. Okay, well, <coughs> what do you have to say for yourself? Don't put that phone on me. Uh -huh. <laughs> I ate all the kids' food that they don't eat. <laughs> hey, Raphael, don't I don't get to eat until they're done, so. Yes, you did. You had a whole plate plus your mashed potatoes.